Gripen E versus F-16 Viper Block 70, which fighter jet is better and why? The F-16 Viper and Gripen E are top-of-the-line 4.5 generation fighter aircraft. Both have exceptional radars, queuing systems, engines, advanced avionics, and technology. Both aircraft can fuse information in the cockpit so pilots can make informed decisions. However, both aircraft are designed and manufactured for different purposes and with different missions in mind. Gripen is the only fighter jet in the world built to defend airspace against Russian fighter jets and bombers. Thank you, and welcome to this channel. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe and click the bell icon to receive a notification when new content is released. Before comparing the two jets, I want to pay tribute to pilots from the Taiwanese Air Force, U.S. Air Force and Israeli Air Force who pushed the F-16 Fighting Falcon to extreme limits. Some astounding achievements of F-16 Fighting Falcon include Israeli pilots dodging 13 air-to-air -air missiles during a bombing mission in Syria, Israeli pilots' audacious effort to bomb Iraqi and Syrian nuclear sites, U.S. Air Force pilot dodging six air-to-air -air missiles during Operation Desert Storm, and Taiwanese pilots mastering the quickest possible scramble time compared to all other air forces in the world. Scramble is used to alert ground and air crews of an incoming attack in their area of operation, and rapidly launch aircraft. Without further ado, let's begin comparing both aircraft. Combat Role The F-16 Viper, a much heavier aircraft, has evolved from an air superiority fighter into an advanced fighter with impressive agility and powerful strike capability. The Gripen is a medium-weight swing roll fighter jet that boasts good agility and strike capability, enabling it to switch operational roles in flight. This detailed comparison of their combat roles and technology stacks will provide a comprehensive understanding of these aircraft. Technology Stack both fighters boast advanced technology, but Gripen's sensor fusion can only be compared to F-35 stealth jets. They are equipped with robust helmet-mounted queuing systems and can carry external targeting, laser pods, and active electronically scanned array radar. The F-16 Viper can even carry an infrared search and track, IRST, pod, while the Gripen has an internal IRST sensor. Both fighters are capable of Link-16 Datalink and Rover for secure video communication with ground parties, have satellite communication capabilities and are highly capable with a wide variety of weapons on board. Situational Awareness In exercises, Gripen has shown that it can gain battlefield awareness without a WUX support due to the Link-39 peer-to-peer system, undetectably complete mission objectives, and efficiently defend itself if necessary. Together, a pair of Gripen can act as AWACS, improving situational awareness and efficiently defending themselves if necessary. One Gripen can provide radar sensing for four of its colleagues, allowing a single fighter to track a target, while the others use the data for a stealthy attack. The Tactical Information Datalink System, TITLES, also permits multiple fighters to lock onto a target's track quickly and accurately through triangulation from several radars, allowing one fighter to jam a target. Another Gripen tracks it or allows multiple fighters to use different radar frequencies collaboratively to burn through jamming transmissions. At the same time, the F-16 Viper can perform the same task backed by an airborne early warning radar such as E-7A Wedgetail. Payloads One of the Gripen's most remarkable aspects is its ability to compensate for its lack of stealth with a significantly smaller radar cross-section. Gripen E and F-16 Viper can carry identical payloads, except the Gripen can carry European Iris T, Meteor, Taurus Bunker Busting Missile, Scalp EG, and RBS-15 anti-ship missiles. Combat Scenarios The Swedish Gripen can take off and land on highways, and the Taiwanese F-16 Viper also showed this capability. Gripen never takes more than 20 minutes for a strike mission, a feat accomplished by a technician and five conscripts in a parking lot in a pine forest as close to the battlefield as possible. This operational efficiency is a testament to Gripen's design and ability to adapt to various scenarios, underscoring its effectiveness in real-world situations. Both are based on relaxed stability aerodynamics. The F-16 Viper has an excellent sustained turn rate. The Gripen has the best instantaneous and sustained turn rate ratio compared to all other fighter jets. Combined with superb aerodynamics, low drag, and low wing load, it can turn inside anything in the air today, the F-16 is no match. Mission-specific requirements. I would put my money on Gripen E in a head-on fight in beyond visual range combat. Gripen's RCS Advantage and Raven SS radar are probably more significant than the F-16 Viper's APG-83 radar power advantage so that it would notice the F-16 Viper first. It also carries the longer-ranged Meteor missile, so it could shoot from a longer range and then turn sideways while giving course corrections to the missile. The F-16 Viper gets shot down from long range without a chance to shoot back effectively. 
On occasions when they have been flying against each other in exercises such as Alaska Red Flag and in Scandinavia, the Gripen has no problem holding the F-16 off. If, for some strange reason, the fight would end up in visual range, then my money is on the F-16 Viper. F-16 Viper has so much more raw engine thrust that it can be used to outmaneuver the Gripen. It can afford to turn harder with much more induced drag because of the excess thrust and can outclimb and outaccelerate the Gripen. However, such a visual range fight would be very improbable in modern times. If the mission is to shoot down many low-tech enemy planes or bombers like the Chinese and Russian jets, the F-16 Viper would be better. Its APG-83 radar would notice the targets first, and it could carry more missiles and stay in the air longer for air interdiction missions like the Taiwanese Air Force. If the mission is to drop many bombs on a low-tech enemy with poor anti-air defenses, the F-16 Viper is better, it can carry more bombs. If the mission is to reconnaissance and drops bombs inside the territories of a high-tech enemy with good air defenses, Gripen E is the best choice. It has a smaller RCS, so it's harder for the air defenses to notice, and it can carry better electronic warfare systems to disrupt the enemy air defenses and carry long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground missiles. Cost Benefits The Gripen E may be more attractive for air forces looking for a modern, low-maintenance, low-operating-cost multirole fighter with advanced capabilities. On the other hand, the F-16 Viper's proven combat achievements, versatility, and familiarity in the global supply chain may make it a preferred choice for some air forces. Conclusion In conclusion, the choice between the F-16 Viper and the Gripen E would depend on the specific missions and budget of the Air Force in question. The Gripen is more expensive to purchase than the F-16 but is half the cost to fly. The choice if you have no political bias is a no-brainer in favor of the Gripen, but if you are in a good book with Uncle Sam, then the obvious choice is the F-16 Viper. Thanks for visiting this YouTube channel. Visit GlobalDefenseCorp.com. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and TikTok.